Hi everyone. Thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out Home Practice Session. My name is Samantha Allendary. I'm a speech language pathologist and the founder of Parkinson Voice Project. I am honored to help you establish and maintain a consistent Speak Out Home Practice routine. Parkinson Voice Project hosts these sessions five days a week. Even during the holidays, we will have a session. We conduct 260 of these sessions a year. And I hope you have all told your family and friends that you want them to practice with you on Thanksgiving Day next Thursday. I have a special session planned where you and your family will enjoy speaking with intent together. Um, today's session is going to be speak out lesson number two. So we're working out of our workbook. If you have a workbook, then you can go ahead and grab it or tomorrow we'll be doing lesson three. I think it's good to get back to basics and review some of these items. So hopefully you enjoy that. But today after the session is our learn about Parkinson's webinar. Everybody say that with intent. Learn about Parkinson's webinar. Again, speak out more. Learn about Parkinson's webinar. And as we do at the beginning of every session, let's smile with intent. Ready? I know it's silly, but with Parkinson's, you have to practice smiling. The Learn About Parkinson's webinar is so important. It is, after somebody has a speech evaluation, that is the most important thing that all of you who are going through Speak Out do. So if you have not attended the webinar, or if it's been more than six months or so, I encourage you to go ahead and register for it. It's not too late. You can register after today's session, but it starts at 10.30 a.m. U.S. Central Time. Let's take a sip of water with intent. That means we're going to think about it. We're going to be purposeful. You bet I think about holding this heavy mug and taking my sip of water. I'm very careful when I do this in front of you. All right, first speak out exercise, the warm up. Lift your voice and project it forward. Speak out, ready? May, me, my, mo, moo. Don't let it trail off. Do it again. May, me, my, mo, moo. Put a lot of energy into it. Really exaggerate. Ready? May, me, my, mo, mo. Just like with the smile, your mouth may not be moving with as much intent as you think. And think about it. These muscles, okay, these are the muscles you use to articulate with, but they're also the muscles you use to chew your food with. Also, the muscles that help you to control your saliva so we don't have drooling. So really exaggerate. Ready? May, me, my, mo, mo. One more time. May, me, my, mo. Very good. Let's take a sip of water with intent. In the webinar, I will be talking about what intent really means and why it is, in my opinion, the most important word for everybody living with Parkinson's and their families. So please attend the webinar. It is, if you don't attend the webinar, you will be missing a critical piece to speak out therapy. Everybody has to go to the webinar. All right, the next speak out exercise, the Oz. 
Deliberately open your mouth wide and project that ah uh, up and forward over your computer. Here we go. Um, good. Let's do it again. Um, your goal is a nice, clear sounding ah, not a raspy ah. If it's raspy, try to project out a little bit more. See if it clears up. Let's do it again. Um, all right, let's do a shorter one. Ready? Um, good. And one more. Take a sip of water. And um, one time I asked Dr. Boone, so why do we do ah? Okay, I know that we're coordinating the breathing muscles with the vocal folds, but why do we start with ah? And he said, you always start with something that is easy and something that you can do. And most people can do ah. And so you always start with that in speech therapy. You try to find something the patient can do and do well, and then you move on from there. All right, the next speak out exercise, the glide. Project out a steady ah, and then slowly glide up. Try to get as many little notes in there as you can. Ready? Ah, ah, good. Make sure the sound is ah, ah. Open your mouth wide enough so the sound comes out as ah. Ready? Ah, uh, stop. Ah, uh, good. We'll go a little bit faster this time. Let's be deliberate. Be deliberate about throwing out that steady ah. And then be deliberate as you glide. Think about it. Here we go. Uh, uh, good. That's how we're deliberate. Let's do it again. Uh, One more. We're almost done. Ready? Uh, uh, very good. Go ahead and take a sip of water. The webinar is only an hour, um, and most of the information was taught to Parkinson Voice Project by the late Daniel R. Boone. He was a voice expert who recognized in the late 1950s that people with Parkinson's could speak better if they spoke with intent, and he worked with a neurologist to really understand what's happening in the brain, why, what does intent mean? And that's what I will be going over with you. 
All right, we're moving on to the next speak out exercise, the counting, okay? I want you to lift every number and throw it over your computer. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Exaggerate. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Make sure you're speaking out, okay? Throw that voice forward. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. And you notice I had to take a breath in there, and that's okay. This is not about doing it all on one breath. You do need to connect them, okay? Because we're trying to stretch your breath support. If you do one, two, three, then we're not getting you to, to prolong, right? To be able to say more sentences on one breath without trailing off. Let's do it one more time. Start with 16 and go backward. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one. On a scale of one to ten, how much effort are you putting forth? I'm putting forth a twelve. That's how much effort it's taking me. Now, before we go on to the reading, take your water, and I want to show you just a couple things. Um, I'm going to show you our website. If you're new to these sessions, when I turn to the side, I have two screens in front of me, so I have to turn to the side sometime. So I want to tell you about two other webinars that we have recently hosted. This is our website, parkinsonvoiceproject.org. You see the holiday challenge at the top? Thank you to everybody who has already sent in their donation. We have until December 31st to raise $1.5 million. Then one of our patients is going to contribute the last $500,000. So help us meet that challenge. But let me show you, if I go to the donate button, so we'll go to the donate page first. I want you to know that right over here on the left are other ways you can donate and there's a button, you, it might be too small for you to see online, but it says estate planning. We recently hosted a webinar about estate planning and here's the video right here. I thought it was an excellent, um, I thought it was excellent and it really gave me a lot to think about. For example, I'll just give you an example. The attorney talked about um, looking at your, your funeral plans. I know it's not a, ha a, a good topic, but you know, we got to think about it. But anyway, what it made me think of, my husband is from Lebanon and he has 10 brothers and sisters. If he were to go before me, does he want to be buried in the States or does he want to be sent back to Lebanon? Can you imagine the arguments or the discussions that would go on between all his family in Lebanon versus my children here? And wouldn't it be better if I just knew what he wanted? So by the way, I told him, you get it in writing, otherwise you're staying here in the States. Um, the other lecture, if you go up, that we hosted recently, go up to Education and Training, and then you see the Parkinson's Lecture Series. And right here, Parkinson's as an Occupation, over here on the right. Excellent, excellent, 
video. All of you need to see that. Watch it over the weekend. And you'll notice down here the purple. It says download a copy of the PowerPoint. Our presenter put in so many live links to resources, things that you might need in the bathroom, things to help you get out of bed, all kinds of gadgets and tools. So if you haven't watched that yet, watch that webinar this weekend. All right, we're going to move on to speak out lesson number two. All right, reading. We are going to read every sentence just once, okay, because there's a lot of sentences, but we're going to stretch out the highlighted words, and I want you to imagine you're on top of a mountain, okay? When you do the reading, you should be exaggerating. It's not like regular conversation. This is our workout. Okay, ready? First sentence. I am grateful. Okay, we're reading them all like that. Ready? Open the door. Next. How much is it? Next. Grab my wallet. Next. May I sit here? Next. Turn on the television. Now look, this is not like you would write normally talk. We're exaggerating. Ready? See you next time. It's time to go home. And I just want us to do that together. Are you really exaggerating the last one? It's time to go home. Everybody say that with me. It's time to go home. Again, more intent. It's time to go home. When you do the reading, you're exercising the muscles you use for talking and chewing your food and swallowing, so exaggerate. Next one. Did you sleep well? Next. How thoughtful. Next. She is my friend. Next. I like it. Next. I'll be there soon. Let's try that again. I'll be there soon. And the next one. Where are my glasses? Next. How did that happen? Next, I love you. And the last one, they are so nice. Now go ahead and take a sip of water. When you download today's reading material, there are lots more sentences. Oh, well, no, not that many more. Let's, you know what, let's finish these last three. I thought there were more. Let's read these, ready? I don't know. Next. I would like some more. And the last one. Live with intent. Good. Now, moving on to the cognitive in our Speak Out workbook, name two to three items in each category. Let's start with the first one. I want you to name two or three fruits. And as you name them, lift and project them forward. Go ahead. Now, even though the instructions in the workbook say name two to three items in each category, if you really want to transition your exercise voice to conversation, you will embed some other questions in between the exercises. So for example, you just named two to three fruits. Now I'm going to ask you some questions. What is your favorite fruit? Is there a fruit that you don't like? Let me know. How much do you think a five pound bag of apples would cost? Are you speaking with intent or were you using your automatic voice? Let's try another one. Tools. I want you to name 
two or three tools and speak out when you say them. Now, now I'm going to do some extra questions, okay? And your speak out providers should be doing extra questions. If they're only doing what's in the book, that is not our complete protocol. So now I'm going to ask you some questions. Let me ask you, if you could only have one tool, what would be the one tool that you absolutely would say, I have to have this one? Go ahead. I'll ask you another question. What are the benefits of having an electric drill? How much do you think a hammer would cost? Name two places where you can buy a hammer. I hope that by reviewing these lessons in the workbook, I'm giving you ideas and ways to go back through the workbook and the practice. And if you're going through the program now, then these are the types of things you should be doing. All right, this is not officially part of the Speak Out protocol, but we like these exercises, and lots of our patients say they help them with their swallowing. Lift every sound and speak out. Ready? Gula ganga ga. Again. Gula ganga ga. And next. Ku ka mangu ka. Ku ka mangu ka. Two more. Gangla. Gangla. And the last one. Kukla, kukla. Very good. Thank you for joining me today. Download the reading material. Take what you learned in this session. Practice, practice, practice. Register for the Learn About Parkinson's webinar. It will start in about eight minutes. And I also want you to know we will have a guest speech pathologist this Friday. Sarah from Denver will be with you, and we'd love to get feedback. After the session, send us an email at intent at parkinsonvoiceproject.org, and we will share your feedback with Sarah so she can continue to improve her speak out skills. All right. Thank you, everyone. See you in just a little bit.